It's not slight. I can't, I can't say it's nothing. not slight to him because he's sleeping. I am the one who has to hear it, and yeah. and sometimes get woken up out of my sleep. <laughs> no, it's not. It's it not, is. It's, not. it's worse than that. It's like it is. Sometimes it scares me. Like no, it no. It, it, <laughs> Come on. Like, can you imagine sleeping and you just hear some? What does Israel call it? <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah. yak, isn't it? Yeah. Hello guys, welcome to another episode. My name's Shamika. My name's Issa. And this is Young Free and Couple Podcast. Today we will be talking about what we'll be talking about Issa. We are going to be talking about why we took so long from our last episode. <laughs> I because, think we should just address that now. <laughs> yes, I know you, some people out there might be thinking that. So, so yeah. Yeah, as you were saying. So yeah, it's a why. It. Why? Oh, come on. Why don't you tell the people why? <laughs> tell them. We had an argument. Everyone has arguments. So when we were supposed to be recording, the moment before we we started recording, Issa decided to pick an argument. I didn't pick an argument, but what happened was I started an argument. <laughs> okay, obviously. Basically, I wanted to change something just before we started recording, and Shamika was like, no, we shouldn't do that now. We should, like, talk about it. And I was like, no, let's just change this thing and, like, come on. And it turned into an argument. So, in the end, it's like we didn't do it. So just didn't do it. Yeah, I was, just in, I was it. in a bad mood, and I couldn't really. I'm not really a fake person. I can't really come and pretend to be like, "Hi, welcome to another." No, when I'm vexed, I'm vexed. Like I can't. I try my hardest to not be vexed, but if I'm vexed, I cannot pretend that I'm not vexed. So we just didn't end up doing it. Then the day after, it ended up going to Leicester with the two older boys so for four days that was unrelated in case you're thinking no that I, didn't, I didn't kick him out of the house yeah there's no kicking out get out go to Leicester and take two kids I can only deal with one no that never happened <laughs> so yeah he went to Leicester obviously we made up before he went to Leicester but um we made up that same night yeah but then by the time we made up it was just it was too late yeah and, and the vibe was killed and stuff so we just thought okay just leave it you know so yeah yeah that's what happened that's so the truth. and then yeah so a week dragged on to two weeks so yeah sorry guys for not putting out any content yes we try not to make that happen again but um it's good for us to be honest and real i don't want to be on the podcast when there's animosity between us and the animosity I, no no because it would have been animosity like i would have been like this <laughs> yeah so and then it would have just been a bit dead because i wouldn't be looking at you dead. and stuff so yeah D-E-D. so that's that dead. yeah but so you know that tarika just summed it up there we love doing this when it comes time to doing our youtube or our podcasting we like it so it's nothing to do with we didn't feel like it and all this stuff it just couldn't be done and from Excuse now on, me. we're going to put out regular content. we got other stuff in the works that you guys will like. Um, so make sure you keep checking back with us because our brains are going into overdrive. We've got lots of great ideas. Is your brain always in overdrive? I thought that's why your head was, a, you know, the size that it is. What are you trying to say? You've got a big I mean, head. <laughs> I don't have a big head. Your head is big. What, in proportion to my body? No, but your head is just big. It's okay. It just means you're smart. You know? You try. I don't do that. Doesn't you're, make my head look... You're, you're everyone f- on YouTube. Doesn't make my head look smaller. What are you doing? No. I can't help it. I've got a big forehead. You can't have a lot of your forehead. <laughs> I've got a big forehead, yeah. And I've got a big head, I just found out. So, what can I do about that? It's okay. You're still cute. Can I, shall I get that spray? Don't that do you, anything. No. Don't 
Don't ever. Maybe I can. Don't ever spray fake hair on your hair. I should make no. this a snapshot and then I should go on GIMP and spray on the hairline. No. Come on, guys. What do you think? Would that work? Who does that? Jamie Foxx does that, innit? He sprays on his hairline. <laughs> you know? Wow. I don't think I'll do that. Though. It's good for him. Yeah. But I, do, I wouldn't want you to do that because that's just fake. And it would be weird. Like, on, you know me? You know how I feel about yeah. fake things? I'm like, it's a. Don't, man, don't. I'm doing it, man. Like, I want no, my don't. hairline back. Because any no, people see you on a, on a day that you haven't sprayed your head, they'll be like, what yeah. happened? <laughs> She's going through stress. You've been under stress the last few days. I saw you just two days ago. Yeah. Hairline's gone two inches back. But hold on, ain't that the same reason why I decided not to put on makeup? Guys, listen. I went out and bought makeup. Not, not a lot of makeup, I just bought one thing. Expen How much was it? Like £20? Why do you have to say how much it cost? Okay, two hundred. It wasn't twenty pounds, but it was nearly twenty pounds. It was two hundred pounds. No, it was not. <laughs> I don't even know how to put on makeup, guys. I don't. I don't. I asked the lady like something that I can have something that to make my skin tone look even, because you know my skin's been rough these past few months mm -hmm. since I've been pregnant. I changed my skin. What I put on my skin. You know, I cut my hair off and. I was a bit like worried about what people would think when they view me because obviously we're on YouTube now yeah but um, because this is not the way I'm used to looking I usually have a lot more hair than this my hair is usually like permed but at the end of last year I decided I want to go natural so I cut all my perm hair off I cut my hair all the way down my hair was like his hair and so it's just been growing I, t I stopped using certain things on my skin so now I only use one specific oil on my skin um, which I intend to get more things but I just haven't done it yet so no. my skin's going through a funny stage at the moment so I thought okay people might be turned off when they see me so let me try this thing out but I, and I did try it out when I got home and so I tried it out in, in, the, in, the, in Mac and it looked alright and then I got home and you know I tried in it in Mac? Yeah, we went to Mac Cosmetics. Oh. oh. In Morley's. Oh, that's the name of the place. The makeup. In the place. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 So I tried it on, and when I got home, I tried it on, and it, it looked okay, but it was just like it was just not me, man. It's just, I don't want people to see me in a different light to what I am, and yeah. and it's not reality. It's, you know. I mean, I'm not saying I would never wear makeup. But let people see me as I am. I shouldn't really be. If this is what I look like, you know, it's what why people watch shouldn't be based on what I look like. So, you know, so I just thought, do you know what? Warts and all. You ain't got no warts. <laughs> just, it's just a saying, isn't it? It's just a saying. Yeah, but you ain't got no warts. I actually so. have got warts. What? What are warts? Those like, things that witches no. have. No. <laughs> That's a wart, isn't it? So what, Miss Radovich in, in French, she had a she was a witch then. I had I had a teacher called Miss Radovich and she had Maybe a she was. hairy wart on her face. Yeah, those things, like a mole. Yeah, but it was a protruding. Yeah. No, but that, that doesn't mean that you're a witch, okay? No, that's what <laughs> witches have, isn't it? Yeah, that's what when witches have. But then they're, but they're not all big them. like that. I have small wart, warts. Oh, oh, okay, I see what you're talking like, about. Like tiny ones that like in places where people don't know but and no it's not in disgusting places <laughs> the way I said it in it but yeah but yeah so yeah I was saying to Issa like oh man I don't know you know that's and that's another reason why we had the argument because you wanted to change stuff and I didn't feel comfortable I was like oh you know so I lost my train of thought a bit yeah no you you were talking about Appearance. Appearance. Yeah, so I, let me just let it. me just be real and show you what I look like. You know, I shouldn't really be thinking about what I look like, and it's, it's because I know on YouTube a lot of um, women and girls, young young women and women wear makeup and stuff, and they look good in their makeup. But sometimes. But that's not what they really look. But like. sometimes when they take off the makeup, some 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 of them will wear makeup and their skins. When they take off their makeup, they still are beautiful. You can see their skin's immaculate. And what, I'm not saying that people who haven't got immaculate skin aren't beautiful, but it's just different to what you see. It's like, you see one thing and then the other time you see this and you're like, huh? Yeah. What? That's that's like falsification, if that's a word. I think it is. Like, word. yeah, so. Look, I'm one of those guys, yeah, 
I don't really I don't want to say I don't like makeup because I would guess that I do because lots of um, like you see people and they've got makeup on and I just look at people what and you like them yes because they're be everyone has got beautiful insides interior we're not talking about interior we're talking about exterior uh, no I don't I don't even drop out things like that I don't like them but listen yeah I don't like when I see like a picture, like one time you show me a picture of some celebrity, I'm not going to say the name because I'm not into celebrity driven stuff, but you show me a picture of this per of someone, you were like, Issa, who do you think that is? And I looked and I was like, I I'd never seen that person before. Then you told me who it was. What was the picture, with, when the picture that I showed you, was it without makeup? Without makeup. Okay. You didn't say anything. Then I was like, oh, it look, just looks like a, a lady. You told me the person who it was, a well-known person, yeah, <laughs> and I was just like, wow, like, makeup who does was, a lot. I don't remember showing you that, like, who was it? It was ages ago. Shall I tell you who the name is the person? Yeah. It was Kim Kardashian. Oh. So you showed me and I was just like, wow, that's Kim Kardashian, like, that's... It's amazing, but it's because you, you sometimes they change their whole complexion. It changes the way her face, yeah. the bones, and yeah, because it's the people contour. You can make your nose look smaller. You can make it look like you got big cheek. You can make. I've seen a one of a man do it to look like a woman. Yeah, and it works, doesn't it? Makeup can do a lot. Dear Lord, <laughs> please. Well, you're married now. Show so Pete, help don't, people. Don't worry. Help my brothers out there yeah um all you guys have to be careful you know telling people you better be careful out there you're looking at oh, that, that looks nice that looks nice you better get to face know the off. person in it face off nicholas cage and john travolta in it yes <laughs> i don't know why you're looking at me like that because you know just because you never had knock your face off but anyway yes i mean i see stuff on youtube a lot and it's all very glamorous it's all and very it's easy to be influenced by oh you know not influenced but like oh look i went and bought makeup for that reason yeah, I, and that's I, although, like although, although i still didn't end up using it but i still and me i'm very strong-willed and strong-minded so mm -hmm. but i still got to a point where i was thinking Oh, but what if people think this? Or what if, you know, I'll look better if I have this on because I'll be more presentable. Okay, but just look like it's... it's I'm not doing this podcast so that people are going to look like the way I look. Really, I'm just doing the podcast because I like talking. And it's fun. Yeah. Like, we like to do it. Like, But it, it, it can become... Because I know what pe people can say. People like to troll and this, that and the other, but... And the thing is, I don't really get, I don't care if people say stuff, but still, you, I, I must have a bit of caring to, to actually care about that. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, that's basically what I want to talk about, like, trying to look nicer for YouTube. I, I, anyways, I'll look nicer. Babe, end of the day, I, I like my mum, my sisters, whatever, yeah, my wife, most important, female, yeah, I know. I don't like m makeup a lot, especially if I've seen your normal face. And if I've seen your makeup face, I see your normal face, obviously it's going to be like, wow, you know, depending on the difference. But I, I'm not into that. I, I like the natural. I like Shamika's hair with this afro. If you're just listening, you can't see. If you come on, if you check the video on Facebook, you'll see. Rika's you got a nice afro. I can't grow my hair like that no more. All right, don't spit. Don't yeah, don't sorry spit. for spitting, because I'm a bit like, it's annoying. The other day, my son said to me, oh, daddy, because we were talking about Shamika's hair, and what the, our eldest son was like, oh, daddy, like, maybe you can grow your hair. Because he saw he's got my, high, well, who is right? he's got yeah, high, he's got a high, high top, and he, and he's I think he also saw my driver license. That's from like oh yeah, you had ten hair, years ago. Yeah, okay, I had an afro, so he was like, yeah, you can grow your hair like mummy's, and I was like, I can't even grow my hair like that because my <laughs> hair doesn't grow so thick and stuff. And then he was baffled until I had to explain it to him. Like my hair is like it's getting a bit thinner and stuff, isn't it? But yeah, you could probably still grow an afro. You you just got your hair's just very coarse. So, yeah, and I can't be bothered with all of that yeah. cold Well, I wouldn't want you to cut my hair anyways. Yeah, I just cut my hair. I ain't got no time for 
brushing and like even now my hair I don't even like my hair like this I would cut my hair but Shamika likes when I grow my hair out so I grow it out for as long as I can even though I've got a big forehead your forehead's fine you always cussing my forehead no I'm just joking yeah but you, st- you have got an M head I still love you got that I don't even have the, the curve, I've got an oh M, gosh. but it's okay. I don't really care. I don't I, I, I don't really like my afro. I don't I don't like this. I don't like this look. I'm not used to it. I've never actually had this look before. Yeah. But it's my hair, it's my natural hair. Like I should I'm not ashamed of it. So, you know, i like I might be ashamed that I that I could do things to make it look better. Yeah. I'm, I've really never been a hair person. I've always been a throw my hair in a bun kind of girl. Like, so, you know, I'm just gonna have to learn what products to use in my hair, you know, and just, I just need to wait for the growth. The growth. Yes. Do you think it's funny though? I like your hair and stuff, but your, you don't like it so much and vice versa you say oh so i like the hair yeah and i'm like oh, i don't want i want to shake i want my head to be bald like bald no hair on my head just my little facial hair i'm trying to grow out even though i'm 32 and i still can't grow a lumberjack beard and shamika's telling me yeah i like your hair you're smiling at me now like all lovingly <laughs> and i don't even like it but but you but you don't it's like i don't want you to grow your hair like long or anything but your hair's not bad your hair's not bad when you once you brush it you know yeah but it's you know okay. yeah but that's a battle even as you get older you know you you, you don't really even really appreciate it because i remember when i was younger and i had a lot of hair yeah. and i was slimmer in it mm. and i used to think oh if i can get a bit more muscly and duh, duh, duh. you always think yeah i remember when i remember when i first got a view i used to think well even before that i used to think i was big then i was now now i'm big <laughs> yeah, but you're also pregnant and so. i know but but what i thought i was then i wasn't even big i was yeah. like a lot smaller than like i am now and i wasn't big i was like if when i sorry not if when I lose weight, I would like to be that size. I wouldn't like to be smaller or bigger. I would like to be that size. So I think that's the size that I'm supposed to be, you know? Yeah, it's true. You, you just, so you do, when you're younger, you do think, oh, I don't like this and I don't like that. Then when you get older, you start to realize, I should have been happy with how I was yeah. then. Like, and you, you, can't always, you can't always live in the past. Then you start always looking back like five years before it's not good to live like that is it nah i don't i don't want to go back to the past though yeah but i do i am going to use this baby weight and the rest that i kept on from the first baby <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh oh. yeah because only since i had my first child that i put on weight and i just kept the weight on mm. and the children i like the children extra came. weight guys he doesn't have to carry it i like the extra weight man i like certain places when there's extra weight okay it's all it's nice <laughs> It's the truth. What do you want me to say? Nothing. Just don't say anything. No, we have to be real to the people, man. So, <laughs> you know, people don't need to know I like this and that, but I love my wife and, you know, I like what I've got. So, yeah, and that's good. There you go. That's good that I'm not like always hearing, oh, just lose weight or do this or do that. You get on TV and stuff. I would innit? be, I would be highly depressed at least, you know. I'm happy. Yeah, I just want you to be happy. That's, you know, like my job. Um, And healthy though. Yeah, and look, healthy is most important. So I might like certain things, but I want my wife to be around. Yeah. So obviously- I don't have any problems or anything, but yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, even in terms of me, like, I quickly tell you, just quickly, like, since I put on weight, I've developed like slight problems. Not that bad. Well, Shamika wouldn't say they're slight, but it messes up with like my sleeping and stuff he's talking about snoring it's yeah. not slight it's not slight it's slight to him my, my, my snoring is um it's it's not slight i can't, I can't say it's that. not slight to him because he's sleeping i am the one who has to hear it and yes. and sometimes get woken up out of my sleep wow. <laughs> no it's not that is it, it is it's worse than that it's like it is Sometimes it scares me, like, no. It sca- no. It, it, <laughs> Come it's on. Like, can you imagine sleeping and you just hear some, what does Israel call it? <laughs> yak. It's a yak, isn't it? Yes. You just hear something and it wakes you up out of your sleep. 
No, it frightened me. It frightened like not all the time, but it it has frightened me before more than once. So you know, but you're not you're not overweight. You're just like bigger than you were. Yeah, I'm not. And, and, I, and I just don't think you like are as healthy as you could be. Yeah, it's all that sitting that uh, sitting around being a bus, bus driver, driver yeah. and coming home. But you ain't and not got no big out. belly or anything like that. Yeah, I've tried to keep it under wraps. I need to actually. I'm trying to do everything possible except for going to the gym, and that's quite a lazy, honesty way to do it. Because if I just go to the gym, I'll be healthier. Things will be a lot better. But I can't even with the stuff that I'm doing nowadays. I you can't don't even, even have imagine. To, you don't even have to go to the gym. Thank you, you babe. You, so let's keep it going. Uh, no I'm joking. Yeah, go on. You don't even have to go to the gym. You've got weights and stuff here that you just. I know. They're, they're in the um. Where are they? Collecting archives. Dust in the archives. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say attic. I'm just saying they're in the archives. They're in the archives. <laughs> wow. Um. It's true though. I can't deny that, man. And I'm not going to. Yeah. Have to do better. In it, babe. Yeah, we both have to do better. We both have to do but better. But at the moment, I'm pregnant. And so what? We're gonna deal with that. What's first. that thing? Fuck life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and your glasses is going your eyes, isn't it? Maybe we should do that. But uh, <laughs> put out some sunglasses from somewhere. In it, it's true, man. Like end of the day, it's more about self confidence and being clever with your health. Yeah. If we have to like sum it up in it, so yeah, so you know, and not being greedy, not being greedy, and I think we're all a bit. Yeah, because sometimes when people are, people ask me, oh, do you have any cravings? Oh, and they ask you like I, that, innit? No, no, do you, no, 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 you don't even. You're just laughing at a different point. I'm like, what? shut up. <laughs> I didn't mean to say shut up, but you know, um, no. Yeah. Forget it. No, 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 no forget it. You meant it in a certain way. I know That's you nice. did, and you're having a good old time, innit? No, go um, explain. No, people say, have you got any cravings? I said, no, I'm not any particular cravings. I'm just craven. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, and that's what I, a couple of people ask me. And it's the truth. Because remember, before I knew I was pregnant, remember I, I started having like um, a gallon of water. Yeah. And I was doing yeah. good with the gallon of water, drinking, you know. And because I, I was drinking that gallon of water, I wasn't drinking any sugary drinks, which I like. Sh- I, I usually drink fizzy drinks and stuff in it. Mm. But I didn't know I was pregnant. But I start. I, I came off the water and just started having stuff like lots of snacks and stuff that I don't usually have. This is, and I didn't know I was pregnant still. But when I realised that I was pregnant, I was thinking, oh, that's why. That's the, so yeah. when people it say, hey, do you have any craver- cravings? No, I wasn't craving anything, but I just sort of craved anything, <laughs> you know? So let me just... What are you doing? You're, you're, you're too near the... um. Too near the what? The, the edge of the picture. Yeah, guys, if you're listening, sorry, I just have to make a slight adjustment. So, yeah. yeah, you know, it's good, man, basically. And craven means greedy. Craven. Craven. Yeah. Craven down. It just means greedy. Okay. Joke that's what it means where's that from is that a uk thing would you say craven yeah no it's jamaican <laughs> you know, it's or, or caribbean i don't know but yeah. i just know that it's jamaican yeah, Too that's craven. <laughs> I, I, did, I didn't say it properly but that sounded don't um, laugh at me that sounded just, like don't you're say from yorkshire or something <laughs> what was that um, <laughs> i don't even know how to speak <laughs> just forget it <laughs> one more time Tell no me no 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 <laughs> okay yeah um so yeah you know that's even as you get older you have kids like i think people i think tell me if i'm sounding like big-headed but i think that a lot of people look at us and they think like oh they've kind of got it figured out kind of a bit they've got the family they they're happy and everything but we still like everyone in it like truthfully i think people do look at us like that because the way we interact with each other and the way we interact with our children, what they see. Yeah. But everything's not perfect, like, and nobody needs to know my, my inner business, in it mm. or whatever. Like, but um, I don't know. If, I I don't know. I assume that people think that just by things that they say, but at the same time, you know, 
we aren't perfect and we go through things like everybody else goes through things we have in we have some insecurities like other people do we lack because i think i'm a confident person mm. i think i'm a secure person but that doesn't mean that i don't have any insecurities it doesn't mean that i i never lack confidence in a situation so yeah that's right have to be real i i i, I really can't stand like it really like all this fake stuff Every, like when i leave the house look at adverts and I, you know everything's fake 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 so i'm just trying to just be real some it's not easy sometimes to sit in front of a camera and talk about you and put it in a podcast and put it out to the world isn't it but it's good because help people out and you know show people i'm doing my rapping thing how you do your thing it's so, to just stop yeah so yeah yeah guys um you know it's about how you it's not about how you look on the outside it's about how you on the inside yeah. and you that's know this what, brings me important. onto something it's about what you have to give yes. more than anything yes that's because right. not, i think we've said it before but we're not just here for ourselves and our own comforts and our own family and that's all that matters we, we should you should what every, that, everybody that's every weird. everybody should help as many people as they can Michael Jackson. you know in in a natural way not just helping just for oh because you know but you know it should be not me me i naturally want to help people mm. and i think that other people should be there to help me like when i go through situations and stuff like if i feel like a bit down or i feel like i don't look good at least i have Issa to help me by you know telling me oh it's all right babe you know it's not, you look okay even though sometimes he's okay is not okay what do you mean sometimes you tell me oh, i'll look okay and and, and and i like to go out and i don't look okay to go out are you talking about when we went out yeah we, no we, you don't have to bring it up yeah we went out oh, yeah we went out. Do you remember the last video one and the last audio podcast, right? I was happy. Yeah, we're going out tonight. We did go out. I, I, did you have a good time? That, you had a good time, innit? Yeah. I had a good time, but why are you bringing it up? Because I wasn't I even talking about that. Okay, what are you talking about? Then? No, I was just talking about in general. Sometimes you tell me that, you know, I look presentable to go somewhere or to do something and I don't look presentable i'm it, not gonna maybe, go deep I, it, it may be in your eyes i look presentable but mm. everybody out there's not married to me okay listen you, you you what's what's that what's that film called what's that shallow hal shallow hal you don't look like no, a... no i'm not saying that like, nothing to do with weight or anything like that yeah. but in your eyes i will look oh you look anything most things will look good on to to you about me in your eyes yeah but through other people as they see something different yeah yeah and so. who cares about them other people i don't care if you think something about me no but if if you think something looks good on me and i don't think it looks good okay i'm not yes, going in it no that's right i would never be like well you better like it because i like it but if someone else looks and i don't care about not they don't have to live my life it's me and I'm worried I worry about you too but if someone else doesn't like it or people look I don't care go and live your life looking at other people and I'll carry on living my life you can watch me for your life yeah but if you ever go out in certain things I'm like it's a no yeah of course of course man like let's not go there but look right <laughs> we went out I dressed like I dressed myself and for once you I look decent yourself. no but normally I'll dress and then you're like it's all why would you wear that color with that or something oh yeah yeah and I'll be like it looks you'll be like it's all why don't you just change your shoes or I'll be, all right babe I'll change but I dress I look decent and then Shamika was like it's all you, you look good look at you you look nice no yeah, that's good let's be honest now Wait, let, you know? okay, okay finish what you're saying and then finish what you're saying Shamika was like but you look so nice and I don't even look nice. I'm gonna go and change it. And, and I was like, babe, you look nice. What are you talking about? Like, we're basically wearing the similar stuff. So yeah. what's the issue? This is what happened, yeah. He's 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 trying it, yeah. We 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 had spent the day out before that we had gone out anyways, yeah? Remember no, remember because after we filmed the podcast we went to the hospital and I think we did something else, then we came back, isn't it? Yes, we had to rush yeah? off and go. Yeah, so, all right. 
And I started to get, I said, oh, so what is this event? Is it like a casual event? Like, what is it? And he said, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go out, like, I'm just gonna go like this. It's just casual. So I was like, so I was thinking, okay, then oh, yeah, we'll go casual. Yeah. Then we got back home an hour before we were due to leave. Not when we got home. Yeah, I didn't know. An hour before we were due to leave, Issa went and set himself a bath. He ironed some clothes. Oh my no, hold God. on. He ironed some you fresh clothes. Like no, stop. No, stop. He, <laughs> he set himself a bath. He ironed some fresh clothes and everything. And then put on perfume and everything. And hot and then, so when I saw him now, I was like, so hold on. I've been out all day in these same clothes, probably cooked dinner, smelled like the dinner and all sorts of things. And you went and freshened up yourself. You look much better than me. And you said, oh, okay, babe, you look up. No, no, that would never come. You're my, making it. You didn't give, he didn't give me a chance to sweeten up myself and have a bath and make sure that I looked all, you know. Look, what Shamika says to me, yeah, is sometimes, and me, it's like, sometimes I don't care too much, yeah? So I'm just a bit like raw, rough around the edges. So for that night, I was like, okay, yes, scrub myself up, put this top on, shoes, brush my yeah, shoes. But, yeah, but I asked you, we, we spoke about it beforehand, and what did you say to me? Oh, no, it's casual, babe, I'm going like this. What did I so, change? So, so what's what did I change? You changed, I changed all your, top. you changed all your clothes. I took off my trainers mm. and put shoes on, and then I took off my blue jumper and put a white jumper. A really on. nice dress, dressy jumper. It's just a white jumper. No, it wasn't white, it was cream and it was nice, a really nice jumper. Okay. It wasn't what you had on before. You still, look, you still like, you still not, um. I, I don't, I'm not gonna lie and be like, you know, I just. Well, I asked somebody else for their opinion and they was like, well, it just looks like he's going to, like he's, you know, prepared himself well to go to a, a, a nice event and you, I'm not even going to say anything. That is what the person said to me. So, that says a lot. Like, I didn't need that, um, I didn't need for them to tell me that. I, I could see that myself, but he didn't see that. And she, she me he would make, hold me. Hold on, he would make me walk out in a headscarf. Listen. You have, you have no, you have always made. What's a headscarf, oh anyway? Issa, what's wrong with a headscarf? Do I intend to go out of a headscarf? When I wear my headscarf to bed, when I have worn my headscarf to bed. I like it when you wear a headscarf. To bed. Okay. Yeah. So. That's the thing that I like when you're going to so, bed. So, when it's now time to go out, yeah, and I still got the headscarf on my head, or I put it on to like slip back my hair or something, isn't that your key to be like, babe, you still got the headscarf. No, he would have me walking out looking like a mess. And then, when I say, Issa, why didn't you tell me about the headscarf? Oh, babe, it looks nice. Listen, <laughs> that night, or that evening, when I was like, babe, you look fine, it's a bit over the top with where you're being, and I don't look that great and stuff, yeah? That's what happened. Shamika dragged me to this person. I, she was like, come on, let's ask this person. Mm. And I was like, no, man, I don't have to, we don't have to go and ask no one. So you could dragged me, because I wanted, you to, me, like, no, cause I wanted to, you to see it from somebody else's point of view, other than mine, because obviously you've got your point of view and I've got mine. You think I look okay, but third. I'm thinking, you know, with us Option. together, you shouldn't be looking better than me. And I shouldn't be looking better than you. We should both look good together, you get me? So you couldn't really see that. So I was like, no, let's go and ask this person then. And the person said it. Yeah. It didn't change my mind, but you know. It should have changed your mind. Cause I would never, listen, if I go out of you yet and you do not look suitable and we're going somewhere, I'm like, no. No, you may not want to listen to me. If you don't want to listen to me, then, boy, I'll still go out with you. But I'll tell you, listen, <laughs> just mind where you're walking, yeah? What, you saying you want to walk with me or something? If you don't look right, Issa, and you're determined to wear something, I cannot force you to wear, I don't force you to wear, you, you, you're you a man, you choose what you wear. What you wear. But if you don't look presentable, then don't come and itch up next you to see me. That? You see, see what I'm Don't saying. come and itch up next to you me. You see what I have to deal with. Yeah, sometimes I, I listen to Shamika though, so it's not even like it's because that. you because it comes from a loving place. I like I don't want I want if we go out somewhere, I want us to both be looking good, 
And I don't mean like if we're going to the park or it, and it doesn't like I could go to the park, it's a wear some painted clothes or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But if we're going to <laughs> you're going to put the tracksuit bottoms that you've got with paint Wait, on it. Babe, let me just you paint know, my but clothes. You know you've got one tracksuit with bleach, one tracksuit yeah, with yeah, paint or yeah. whatever. Yeah, we're going to the park, but if we're going somewhere proper, don't no. Don't wear Wear proper clothes. Yes, yeah, just wear garments that are presentable, yeah, please. Like, proper garments on my like don't go out with crushed up clothes. I can wear my machino and you don't um, have no machine and a V suit. But oh no, don't wear those either. <laughs> I don't know big a V suit sign and I don't want no big oh, machino yeah. signs. Yeah, well you know that was I'm that was good be. back in the days, but yeah. you know. Uh, I'm quite uh when it comes to clothes, I don't like no symbols on myself. I just I don't know why I even came out like that. Like I'm making a statement, but like <laughs> uh, yes, when I go out, uh, no. I don't know why I would even say that, but that's an important thing to me. I don't like no branding on my clothing. And when you see certain like people that have done good for themselves, mm -hmm. like even we talk about money, you know, when you see them nice suits, babe, they're mm -hmm. nice. The suits look that's slick. You look at it and you think that suit looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, there ain't no night tick, big night tick there to show. All the branding is inside. It's about the quality speaks for itself. That's the kind of clothes I like to wear anyway. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's true. When you go out, you have to look decent. You have to look decent. And you have to tell your partner if they don't look you decent. You have to tell your partner if so, they don't look decent. Yeah. But you also have to tell the truth. I thought Shamika looked nice, but you know, maybe I need to look at what Shamika likes and be maybe be like, babe, you wouldn't normally. Maybe you need to raise that. your standards. What, get a newer model? I'm talking about the clothes. Oh, the clothes. That, I'm not okay. talking about. I was about to say that that's a weird oh thing for you to tell me. <laughs> Ow! Um, please, you're the best model. Um, that that looks so fake, but I meant it. If you're watching this, that looks so fake, isn't it? I mean it though. I love this woman so much. But yes, it's true. Maybe I do need to be a bit more learn about fashion and stuff. I can't see myself doing it, but that's what should be say. That should be because. Strong point. If things don't look right with how we look, should we tell us me and the no, boys? No, stuff. my strong point is just saying it. Like, I'll just say it. Like, I'm not afraid to be like, to say what I feel. I don't feel something and be like, oh, you know. Especially if I love you. If I love you and I see something that's not right, I have to say it. It's true. And, then it's, it's yeah. the, and I don't, don't mean you have to say it in a bad way, but you have to tell the person that you love, listen, that doesn't look right or that doesn't sound right or you can't just let them continue to even if you, you you may even be wrong but if you feel really feel that way at least express your views you have to express your views man it's true and whether they accept it or not is on them it's but on them just remember don't walk next to me don't walk no, next no, don't to me thinking, but yeah. and you know when when I do try and do that express yeah my views you try to tell me Oh, you went a bit far. Why did you do that? What? Today we went to Morley's, yeah? Oh my days. You Mor know, to, to, to American listeners, yeah? Morley's is a bit like KFC, but it's a bit... It's not KFC. It hasn't got all the branding and all that. It's just, but it's, it's more so, popular though. It's more, it's more popular. popular. In London than and KFC. it tastes the same. It's like fried chicken and chips and burgers and stuff. So we went somewhere. We're on our way back. We go to, to buy some fast food. We don't buy fast food regular, but we went today to buy it. I'm waiting outside, waiting for the bus to come. And then my son comes out and he's like, oh, um, we bought some slushies, but I think the man touched the straw when he gave me the straw. Did he say that so, to you? Or did you, what, did no, you that's what he said. Him? He just came out and said it. So I was like- it's that's, uh, that's you, you how long for the him. <laughs> how, how long for the bus? Okay, four minutes. Let me go on. I said, Israel, it's okay. Go and tell mommy you want another straw. And I said, or oh, if you want Israel, go and tell the man if he can, if you can take the straw. And then he was like, oh no, like, a, like this is how he was. Guys, if you if you're if you're just listening, you have to check the YouTube. He was like, no, I, I don't, you know, like I could see all his body language was like, oh, but he's a big man, you know that kind of a kid would think, mm -hmm. isn't it? So I was like, go in there, go and tell mummy. He was he went in there and he came back out and I could tell he never said anything to you. He didn't try and lie, but so I he went said in. something. He said, Daddy said to me, 
he said, oh, did he say something he said, to he you? Said, Dad, yeah, he said, Daddy said to me, um, he said, because I, I said to him to ask Daddy if he wants a slushy, but he said, oh, Daddy said to me some, that he wants wings. And then Daddy said, yeah. um, did the man touch your straw? And I said, oh, yeah, tell Daddy yes. And then he just came back out. And so, then this one came marching back listen, in. I went like back in the shop, yeah. soldier. Buffalo soldier. Dreadlock. I haven't got dreadlock stuff. Stop clicking your finger. Okay, it's true. Buffalo soldier. That's my name. Okay. I went in and I just said to the guy, can... I pick the straw, please. Is that how you said it? That's what I said. That's not That's how, how you I said remember it. it going. That's how I remember <laughs> saying it. Can I have a straw because you touch the straws and I, I don't. You want didn't say all of touched. that. Don't lie. Okay, and it's <laughs> hygienically below par. I didn't say that, but I just said, can I have a straw, please? Kind of, yeah, because I don't want your you germs said, on no, the straw. No, you can't. You... The guy tried to act like, why are you. Telling me uh, like, oh, what I can't, I shouldn't touch this. I said, just give me the thing, give me the, the bit, the thing, the box you get your straws from. I pick my own straws, man. And then after the guy was saying, yeah, well you're picking the straw. What if everyone gets to pick a straw? And I'm thinking, what, what's going on here? Give me this thing. I took my straws, and it was sorted out. Yeah, that guy. That's what is I'm, not good on the inside. That's what. No, it's all you're you're exaggerating. What, what, that what, is not what, what, what happened. happened. Tell me what happened. You marched into the man when you first asked for the straw. He didn't even understand what you were saying because he bought a cup. <laughs> Remember, the man didn't understand. Like sometimes people in the chicken shop, they don't even speak proper good English. This man couldn't speak good English because before I was talking to him and some of the things he was saying I was just like oh okay then because he couldn't understand me. Yeah. So it's as much the in the, and this is the thing it's is not usually like that. So I was thinking what, what I don't know what happened for you to come in like this. I don't know the last person that you get you got a straw from or something I don't know what they did to you but he's like <laughs> he's like I can I pick my own straw? Like, yeah, I said yes and then the man was the man was like he bought a cup and I was like, no, no, um, straw. And then he's like, then the man's, the man, we had to, we did a bit of, you know, straw. He wants to get his own straw. I tried to, I was trying to explain to him properly. You know, straw. Uh, so the man got the straw drink. box and then he, it's a dive at the box. And the man was like, and, and this was like, let me get my straw. Let me get my straw. Like, no, because you said, give it to me. That's what he was like. The man was like, no, give it like, take me. it. But the way it's a word was a bit too much. And that man didn't understand. And because he didn't understand and it's got a bit like aggressive on him. The man started to be like, well, like, why do you want, why don't, um, if you, if, if I touch things, it's a food place. If I touch things and you don't like it, then you don't come back. And like the man started going, going a bit, but the, the guy didn't understand why somebody would want to pick their own straw. And that's why I have to be careful of them people. Because why can you not understand that? Because he's just not... Because he's from a food establishment and he just, you know, didn't... Un Lots of people don't understand that. Lots of people don't understand when you say certain things. I would like to pick my own things or I would like to... A plastic fork or I would like to touch my own thing. People, some people... Not that they don't understand, because he generally didn't understand what you were saying at first, but then when he understood that you wanted the straw, he couldn't understand why is it so important for you to pick the straw. Yes. Lots of people act like that. Well, because because they touch everything else, so they're like, oh, why, you know, why are you coming in here and being picky? Like, if you don't like it, then don't come back, this, that, and the other. But when we, when we could see that the man had no understanding of what we were saying, that's when it's time to stop arguing with the man. You got your straw now, like, you know, just leave it. So I'm, so I'm saying, because the man was dealing with me okay before, so I was like, listen, don't take it personally, okay? It's not a personal thing. It's just like, it is personal. I'm like, it's a stop. Like, you know, that's not, it's just not the way to, to you can't argue with somebody who's ignorant to what you're saying. Yeah, but it's okay, it's true. 
to like, it's true. Like Shamika couldn't see from because a different even, point. Because even I what I'm saying to you, I, even some man in the shop like knew what you was doing. I knew what you was doing. What you was what you was asking for, there, there was nothing wrong with it. Yeah, you was well within your rights. If you want to touch, if you don't want people touching your shoulder, then that's fine. Yeah. Then I didn't disagree with you. But yeah. when the man couldn't understand or he had no understanding of why you went. Then you don't argue with that person. Just leave them. Yeah, it's true. It's not Just about leave arguing. Him. But it's funny, isn't it? You're in a food place, and this person doesn't understand why you want to pick your own straw. There's four adults: me, Shamika, and another customer. We all understand what I want and why I want it. The other guy doesn't understand. So when you go out and you buy your Morley's or your oh KFC days, or whatever. Up. Watch the people, yeah? Watch what's going on. You don't know where someone's hands has been. You know? I don't really eat out. It's hard to eat out. It's just like, I should... I'm I'm happy I don't take it to the next level because I do go out and eat patty and stuff and dumpling from Jamaican shop and that's food. When? Rarely you do. Rarely. rarely. But yeah, I like cooking from home, really. But yeah. So, all right. I can take some advice from there but I still it's think even, like the thing is, three p- adults understood no, except but it's for that guy no but you was extra you was extra I don't know what hype you was coming on because you, you never extra. you never ever do that like I was thinking like what's going on I, with this I guy like, oh, did Israel come and say that, that the man I don't know what happened why you was acting like that I was like it's all calm down just like let's explain to the guy properly if he doesn't under, it doesn't matter if he doesn't understand he's still going to end up giving you the straw anyway yeah. so just like you know. yeah no there was nothing i don't get riled up but like if i ask for a straw just give me my straw and then it's all good in the end i got my straw all right i hope he has a nice day and yeah in it be careful who touches your food yes so is your rant over now my rant is over for the day you guys you saw the hand movements you saw the, the body language so i'm sure you might comment or something when you feel if you've been through that let me know if you understand where i'm coming from at the same point if you think oh, that's a bit extra or you work in a food place or something then wash no, your but hands there's lots of places. It, there's lots of no. It is vital. No, but remember last time when we was in Han Hill, we got chicken and chips, and I saw the man sitting at the back, and I don't know. I, uh, I remember oh. he was sitting at the back, and uh, he, what did he do? He, wow. He, what did he do? Did he? He was sitting at the back on his phone, and he did. He dug his ears he or dug something. His ears or dug his nose or he something. dug. He dug something, and then when he he, because somebody else was serving me, then when he came to the like more forward, like he wanted to help, I was like. Don't touch my food. Leave him. Like, let him do it. I, what, I said something to the yeah, man. Yeah, and you tried to tell him quietly. I, no, no, that's what I did. Because there, there, there was other people in the shop, yeah? So I was trying to be discreet with the man. I was like, oh, can I have a word? Because I saw him going to the... I, did, I, I didn't know whose food he was going to be dealing with. So I saw him coming. So I was like, can I have a word with you, please? And he's like, yeah, yeah. So I was like, no, no, come, come. So, you know, I didn't want to shout it out. I'm not... Uh, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing it to be rude. So I didn't want other people to be alert. You know, I don't. I didn't want to embarrass him. I just wanted to say to him, listen, can you please wash your hands? Because I saw you sitting there picking your nose or digging your ears or whatever it was that he did. He didn't come to me. He didn't come to me. I said, oh. so when he didn't come, I said, okay, then don't deal with my food. I said to the guy, you touch my food, don't, you know. Then when the other guy came close, I was like, Listen, I saw him picking his nose. That's why I don't want him touching my food. Mm. And then that guy started laughing. And then, you know, but it's like, if don't touch my stuff. I'm, I've never been back to that shop again. Yeah. Just because of that simple fact, because realistically, anybody could be doing that. But, you know, after after he went in the kitchen and wash, was washing his face. Wasn't he washing his face? He was washing his face. He was washing, he, so that's what I think. He knew that it was something to do with that. Because after he was washing his face and whatever, then he went, I think he was fasting that day as well. Yeah, I think the guy said. He'd but it's fasting. like, no, man, you can't be picking your nose and come. Don't come over here. No. Yeah. And then yeah. when I'm trying to be polite about it, trying to speak to you discreetly, yeah, it's like, oh. See, these people. Right. But then, see, I could have had a big old argument. I was like, this man's ignorant. Okay, just don't touch my It's true. You know, sometimes it calls you have to be like that. I'm not like that normally, but for some reason I had to be like that to the guy. But fair enough, I'm not going to act like, yeah, well, everything I do is right. But, you know, that's how I had, I dealt with it then. 
So I some next woman did did something like that as well in in KFC, but she she was just rude. Like it was like a new cashier. I yeah, told you told me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you don't want to but, be but, viewed like But that. she went and got my drink, and when I left the shop, I left the drink there. Because I couldn't see her pouring my drink. I don't want no one spitting in my drink, so I left yeah, the drink so I, I, and left. So basically what you're saying, after you told her, like, you should, like... I said, don't be rude so to rude. him, he's new, like, he's new. And this is a worker in KFC, isn't it? Yeah, two, two workers, she's been rude to that guy because he made a mistake, and it's like... Don't be like that to him, like, because he's serving me and you're basically undermining him and trying to belittle him in front of all the customers. I'm like, don't be like that to him. Like, he's new. Like, don't do that. And she's like, oh, he's on my till or something like that. So I was like... I like your accent, so like, you know. you got a great voice. So I was like, whatever. <laughs> but then, so he got, he prepared all my food and everything. Then she was on the drinks line. So she went and got the drink. But where she went and got the drink from, I didn't see. So when she put my drink there, is where I left the drink. Even when I was going out, somebody was like, oh, oh, they're calling you. I was like, if it's for the drink, I don't want it. Then they look back and it's like, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want Keep nothing. your drink. We don't know what the contents of it are. That's right, man. So, I think that wraps it up for this episode. Don't yeah. worry, guys. We won't be I don't waiting know, we went, long. We went really off, off track there. No, that's right, though, man. We tell people what's going on, man. Um, so people can know, you know, what we're about. Um... Uh, yeah. Not what we're about. We're not about conflict, but no, no. what what we've done we in the up. week. Yeah, what we've done. So. Standing up for ourselves, um, guys. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna be putting that stuff more regular, guys. I hope you know that we've changed our where we put our podcast. If you use an app to get it, you're gonna get it like normal. I've set everything up. But we have youngfreeandcouple.com now. We're not going to be so active on SoundCloud. We've got our own website. Everything's there. I'm making it look nice for you guys, isn't it, babe? Yes. And just go on there. If you use an app, stay with that app. You'll still get notified and be able to listen to our new episodes. Yeah. Because um, I've done the technical behind the scenes stuff. But if you want to just go online and show someone where you get your podcast from, it's youngfreeandcouple.com. All right, and all of our social medias is young, the number three, then the word coupled. And don't forget, if you know, if you want to watch us, we're on YouTube also, where you can see the afro that I'm talking about. Yeah, you can see <laughs> the big forehead. Yeah, like, and just get some laughs with, with along with us. Yeah. Come on YouTube. Yeah. If 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 you're a listen, like we get listeners from like loads of places, we get so many people. Guys, we appreciate you. We do this because we want to give you great things. But content. If you like the content, plus just you know, feel free to pass it on to a friend. You know, That's if right. you think if you might have got something out of it, pass it on. You know, we we're trying to build up our community, so you know. Yeah, man. Like if 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 there's stuff in here, you know, someone else will like it. Tell them and subscribe and stuff. Let's grow this thing. And get lots of people involved. Yeah, and if you're a listener. Check us out on YouTube. Just quickly go on YouTube, type in Young Free and Coupled Podcast and you'll see our videos come up. In it, darling. Yes. You can see our body language, how we move. I'm doing a robot dance. Oh my days, that's not a robot, is it? <laughs> <laughs> You're just showing more of your head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. You know what I just thought? You know what I just thought just then? Uh, is it a cuss? <laughs> no. Okay, go on. Tell you me. know the guy from Red Dwarf? You know that program back in the day, Red Dwarf? Yeah, when they're on a spaceship. Yeah, you know the, the like Android kind of guy? Yeah. With the like. The box head. The potato. You say that's what I look no, like? No, no. But I'm so we cut no, it no, head. No, but I'm <laughs> After I've done all yeah, of he's our got a box and he's got like a like he's shaped. He's got a potato proper cute white funny, head. It's funny though, yeah. Oh my gosh. This is marriage. It's an English this program. is what you get when you marriage. When will boyfriend and girlfriend she would never say that to me. <laughs> when will boyfriend and girlfriend he had more hair? Oh <laughs> It's alright. It's okay because I love you more than when we were boyfriend and girlfriend, so. Good. Amen to that. Doesn't matter. Um, oh, yeah, just before I go, I'm starting a podcast. Shamika's starting some new stuff. So just check out, keep checking. 
what we're Keep up listening to. Listening out. Listening out. Check on our Twitter, Facebook. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, on Instagram. Check us out. Like our pictures. Keep in touch. You're going to see great, great things. Thanks, guys. Bye. Can we do that bye we did no, before? No, I was just Come about to say, why do you keep on saying I put it on bye? Twitter. It's on. Do you time. ever see anybody and be like, bye? You yeah, never. Man, every time I meet someone new, I'm like, oh, what's your name? Oh, oh yeah, I'm doing it too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Bye. bye. No. Okay. So what? What do I do? I want to have okay. an outro thing. What outro thing? <laughs> if, I, if I put, if you're not, if you're just listening, I'm putting double thumbs up. So you can say, you can do bye, or you can do whatever. So should I just be cool? Like? No, no, do whatever you want to do. Okay. <laughs> but uh, it's just funny to me. Bye. When you say bye. It's just funny. But if you have someone how you want to say bye, say bye like that. Yeah. So uh, I'm not really bothered. Um, whatever in it. Later. That's not you either. So don't even think about <laughs> later. <laughs> What's oh, that? Okay, it's true. All right. See you later, guys. Thanks. See you again soon. Uh, you think you got up quick? <laughs> yeah. Why do you keep on doing that? Oh, you're lucky. I was gonna come over there, but I'm gonna allow you this time. Come over here for what? What do you think? Just turn. Uh, on you know you better. You better. You know what I'll do if I came over there. Nothing violent. <laughs> Something loving. Trust me. All right. Bye. <laughs>